Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks. <laughs> Oops. Hey, <laughs> game, dude. So it's been. I'm back again with Wes. I forgot about it. I'm forgot about me. Yeah. I'm just drinking. <laughs> Screw that guy. We're drinking blends. Uh, but <laughs> it's been, uh, I believe, quite a few years since I've actually done a review of Blanton's. There was a, a time period, and this was may or may not have been before you really have started on your, mm -hmm. your bourbon path. Uh, I mean, I went through, I, I was getting Blanton's every other week, yeah. Harley's, and just, hey, well, we got Blanton's. So like, right, I mean, I've got like just a half a dozen or more, or whatever, brown, brown baggies. And I did one review like five years ago, and I haven't done one since, I don't believe. So I checked, I searched in my analytics, in my content, and only two videos came up with, with the word Blanton's. In the title. In the title. One was a tequila that was aged in Blanton's barrels, okay. Corazon tequila or something. Yeah. And then I did a Blanton's. Yeah, one of those, it's aged in a George T. Stagg barrel. Yeah. It was awful. Oh, that's not good. It was not, I was not impressed by it by any means. I think they should just do a tequila and age it in a charred new oak barrel. Yeah. I just think the... Core zone is just not very good for one thing. Hey, we could do it. I mean, you want to get another barrel and put a tequila in it? We could. Yeah, that'd be cool. So, anyway, <clears throat> Wes had f at least four. I got just four different ones. Yeah. Four different expressions. We have what is this? That's the Japanese, the black label Japanese one. I don't know what it's even called. Black label Japanese. I think bands. the red one's the Takara or whatever, right? This yeah. is just a black label. Yeah. 80 proof. I mean, it's still a single barrel. Yeah, it's just a 80 proof. Yeah, you know, because those Japanese, they're weak. Wax, that's not true. The, the old, uh, we got uh, straight from the barrel back here in the leather baggie, but they uh, they used to be Japanese only, wasn't it? Or was it? Yeah, uh, yeah. well, actually, I think up until this past year, gold, everything but this was export only. Really? And they just now started releasing gold and straight from the barrel hmm. here, stateside. So we got the, the Japanese, we got the regular release, and this is actually a goody goody barrel pick. We got this, what is this, gold? Blank gold. not making any damn noise at all. Yeah, no cork pop, it's gonna no suck. Suck balls. It's gonna suck, it's gonna be awful. Suck hard. I'm curious, because I've never had this one, so. I mean, I kind of feel like it's <clears> just gonna be pretty. It'll probably just mm -hmm. take like, taste like a wheat Blanton's. Yeah, it's just, just an 80 proof anymore. I don't know how much more. Port enough. <laughs> Port enough. Port enough. Uh, yeah. So I figured we just uh we're just gonna sip on some damn Blantons and yeah. talk shit. I mean we can talk And about I like Blantons. I don't do I think it's the greatest thing on the planet. Mm -hmm. God no, and it's so overhyped and marketing has done great with it, but it's not bad for any proof. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I ain't mad at it. I mean, Shoot, we could have put this in the our low proof, proof blind. <laughs> yeah, I think it would have been. We had blinds in there, wasn't it? Yeah. This one, it didn't made it fairly yeah. far. Yeah. It was that same bottle right there, actually. Yeah. But I got the okay if you want to discuss why I'm so tired, <laughs> not in graphic detail. Just Kelly knocked the bottom out of some the other night. <laughs> Or he tried. <laughs> I said not in graphic detail. Well, I was. wasn't graphic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Kelly has a new lady friend. I do that. She, I'm, she, quite, I'm quite, quite proud. My boy's growing up. Yeah, I'm a man now. I'm a big boy. So, <laughs> did I tell you how it all started? You told me she just, she messaged you like on Facebook. Just mm -hmm. got in your DMs and like, hey, well, you're hot. She said she went through, you know, the people you know list, mm -hmm. and she saw, she picked five dudes. Well, <laughs> this sounds so random right now. Yeah. It sounds I mean, kind of stalker well, she, well, kind of thing going on she's, I mean, it's no different than what a dude does on Facebook. He goes through Facebook. No, I don't do that. So you don't, don't. You're married. But, like, single dudes, well, some even, some even married dudes, well, uh, just, you know, scroll through the people that they may know, and... I mean, just start sending out DMs. So that's what she did. She said she wasn't having any good experience on the dating sites, so 
she picked five dudes that she was attracted to and pretty much sent them all the same message. And at first, I was super leery because... Thought you were getting catfished? Well, every other freaking day, I get messages from random Chinese women who are <laughs> who are freaking owners of like a... Uh, clothing retail or clothing like designer or something like that oh this is my warehouse blah 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 and then eventually it trans transitions into hey let me tell you about crypto i'm like fuck off dude so she sends me that and i kind of look through her profile and i'm like well she might actually be real so i'm like yeah, all right let's see where this goes but anyway well well that's cool i mean we uh we just go reuse the same glass. Oh, we can't interact with those. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. I don't think it's gonna matter. It's all the same juice. Yeah, it's just, just different it's proofs. All, it's all blends. Bentley so, said he wants some. He Bentley. He's being needy. I whooped his ass this morning, so he's just like been like super sweet to me and trying to beg my for my forgiveness. Why did you whip his ass? Because I was in the bedroom trying to knock the bottom out of it. Nice. And he's in here in the damn living room and just jumping on the gate and whining and yelping and for like 45 damn minutes. Yeah, it's hard to keep up a boner. I mean, you just, you got all things that. get distractions and I mean, yeah. it's hard. I mean, yeah. I got to concentrate. I'm 46 years old. It takes yeah. every ounce of concentration I have. Oh, yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah. Poor big me. So anyway, I guess let's talk about this brand. So I like that black one, though. Whatever they call yeah. it. Does it have a name? It's in Japanese. Oh. It's got kanji blood, whatever that says. Okay. You little bug eyed, cute little bastard. I think this is just a weaker version of this one. Now, the oh, red okay. one is supposed to be something different, the Takara one or something. I don't know. I, never I seen guess it. it's, it's a red label. I haven't seen it. But, uh, well, I had a bottle of it that was you? in my package that got jacked by UPS. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I had a bottle of this and a bottle of that, uh, the red one. That I bought in Kentucky because there they that the laws are different. They can resell and stuff. Mm -hmm. So they bought it. It was a liquor store or a bar had bought it from someone else and then was reselling it. Still sealed and everything. And well, that sucks. I think in the moment this actually has more flavor than that, even though it's weaker. Yeah. Like this one, there's just not it's, not a whole lot going on. And I've had some really good ones, and yeah. some they're like. Eh. Well, they probably don't go through and taste test every single barrel. No, like I'm they thinking they're, they're just pulling the whole yeah. whole section of the warehouse and yeah. pouring. Because mm -hmm. they're pouring these things every day. They're, oh, yeah. <sighs> There's no like strict quality control unless you're actually... I or, saw a stupid number. Goody Goody pick. Yeah, I mean, so Goody Goody said, hey, it's good, but... Well, I don't think they have anybody, personally, I don't think they have anybody who's doing strict quality control. They just get sent a care package of samples and you just have random people tasting them. I don't know, maybe. All right, so how much? What? A few thousand. No, that's not right. Because it's something stupid. I mean, it's all right. So anyway, while you're I, was looking trying, at, I was trying to look up how much they produce a year. While you're looking that up, I'll just keep yeah. going on about the story. Oh, yeah, I'm about to get it done now already. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't in like the first three sentences, <laughs> yeah. so I'm like, I'm not going to read this I article. Suck. We we research for about 30 seconds. We can't find it. It's, you know, fuck it. I mean, I, my attention span is about this long. Right. I mean. Yeah. yeah it comes, when it comes to certain things like that. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so anyway. She DMs me, and I'm obviously skeptical because yeah. women don't DM me. Uh, it just doesn't happen unless they're a scammer or they're looking for something. So anyway, we talk back and forth, blah, 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 whatever. Time goes on. A few days go by, and we're still kind of messaging back and forth. And I'm just still kind of, you know, being leery about the whole thing. And then uh, I think, like, the Monday after, so we were talking for, like, four or five days. And then, like, the Monday or Tuesday after, I'm like, hey, well, you want to just meet up for lunch or something real quick and kind of feel things out? And right off the bat, because I've had bad experiences, 
I asked her, I'm like, so what kind of meeting is this? Is this just like platonic? Are we going Dutch? I mean, because. <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> cheap fuck. No, I'm not cheap. Well, no, it's just that big girl. You yeah, know. the big girl that I got. She did say she was big, but not. She didn't express how big she was. She uh, worded it as she's. She was just fat. She was in her fat phase. I'm like, bitch, you've been in your fat phase for like the last five years, but <laughs> and just kept getting fatter. So I had went on a date previously, and you know, she was cute in her pictures. Like she showed me her titties and. Some, video uh, photos or whatever mm. I'm like oh yeah I could, I could, I could smash yeah I can, I can deal with this and then she shows up and like I can see how big her calves are through her pants as soon as she puts her leg out the door and I'm just like man kicked out and opened up with the cankles yeah I just I'm just I, I mean and this is the only reason the only reason that I dislike really really big women I don't mind big women I just dislike really big women because I like going down on women. I enjoy it. I enjoy the process of giving a woman pleasure with my mouth. And I can't do that when all I can see is gut. I, I'm like trying to, you know, I'm down here because it's whenever they're so big, it's it's not quite there, you know, it's not, it's not, it's normally like right here. Like if they're laying down, right? It's normally like right here. This is where it would be the pubic area. I'm so glad you're giving us a description yeah. here of this. So like whenever they get bigger, it kind of does this number. So it's like, I mean, I had a girl, I had a freaking literally grab her by the back of the legs and push her legs towards her head so I could be in a more ergonomic position. I was getting a crick in my neck. So anyway, <laughs> we meet up for the first day. And as soon as I see her, I was like, oh, she's cute. And I was like, and she's not, she's not big at all. She's yeah. fairly petite. She's like five, 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 six. Still, you know, nice build yeah. to her. And I was like, oh, she's, she's attractive. She's in good shape. I'm like, all right. Then we walk inside, we make small talk. And I was like, hey, I got it. I got lunch, don't worry about it. <laughs> so I changed it after that. And then we met up a couple of times and you know, had to refrain ourselves from, because like, I don't really want to, I, I have a bad habit of like getting real sexual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just winked at him. I was like, real sexual. On the, yeah. Like early, quick. So yeah. it's like, you know. Pump, trying, to, trying to pace you, pump yeah, the brakes pump a little the bit. pump the brakes, man. And I mean, it, it paid out and uh, yeah, I ended up uh, like, we were talking back and forth, kind of courting each other mm -hmm. uh, for like a week. And then uh, Friday night, this past Friday night, she had me over for dinner and I stayed for breakfast. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And I will say this. You know the, the inner and outer thigh machines at the gym? Mm -hmm. Start doing those guys. Both of them. Inner, outer thigh. Work them hip flexors. Work them hips. Get them strong. <laughs> it's like, man, because <laughs> I mean, it, it had been a little bit since my last ex escapade, and it was the last time. It was before I was really kind of doing those exercises, mm -hmm. and it wasn't so subpar. All right, I'm, I'm listening. I'm just letting him out. He's fine. It was a, a subpar experience and performance on my part, and since then, for the last couple months. I've been doing the inner thigh and outer thigh exercises, fairly high reps. I usually do like 20 rep sets. It's really just warm up, warm up at the beginning of the, the workout. Plus, I've also been doing, you know, the, uh, the bicycle, uh, the pulmonary test that I have mm -hmm. from Dallas for, yeah. I explained that. So I started adding that in like every three or four days. Oh shit, that gets you damn thighs. Oh, yeah. oh God. Thighs on fire. Lungs, heart, thighs. Yeah. So started doing that and trying to bump it up a level every time. Yeah, I gotta build my cardio up. So the cardio and conditioning is getting much better and the hips are strong. It's like somebody fucking brought their A game. Well, I can promise you yours was probably much sexier than mine was this morning then because <laughs> shit. Of course, I'm fighting, over, fighting getting over that damn cold and everything still. So I'm in the middle of it breathing and everything all of a sudden. I'm, I'm just pounding away all of a sudden I go. <laughs> 
big <laughs> just seemed like something broke loose in my chest. I had to jump off and go to the damn sink, and I'm just hacking shit up. <laughs> I was like, I think we're done. <laughs> totally mood killer. Oh, it just destroyed it. I mean, destroyed it. Oh, uh, it cracked me up. So Saturday morning, I didn't get. I, I have a hard time sleeping in a bed with somebody else because everybody's just like, like it's like a fucking furnace. You know, I will say that gold has just always been like really good. Mm-hmm. It's it's night and day between the regular buttons and the gold. And the gold. It's got more spice to it. Mm -hmm. Especially when it goes down the wrong pipe. Yeah. It's like, it tried to. I, I don't it. know. I love it's that gold. A lot more flavor. And it's 103 proof, I think. This, but I don't know if they're always 103 proof. I'm gonna assume they probably are. Probably. But I assume it is. And I know straight from the barrel, it varies yeah. from bottle to bottle. Yeah. No, that's really good. But that gold has always been. So is this still a Japanese release, or is it? No, you can buy it stateside. Oh, okay. Like I think that's all. Hundred bucks. Uh, I think so. Hundred, hundred and twenty, I think somewhere in there. Nothing crazy, but I. This is seventy something now, mm -hmm. so like I'm not upset at this because it's. Yeah, I think last time I bought one at Goody Goody or at Harley's, mm -hmm. it was right at $75 after tax. Yeah, I think it's like 68 bucks plus tax now or something like that. No, that one's... But, I mean, the gold is just night and day difference, I uh -huh. think. I've never had a bad one of those. How many have you had? This is probably my fourth bottle. Oh, mm -hmm. I think I still have one more up in the cabinet. Mm. Now, some of them I was sourcing originally getting them ship from right. Japan. Oh, actually coming from Okinawa. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I had a buddy that had a contact that's in the Marines, so he was going to buy them on the Marine base for me and shipping them to me. Hell yeah. Or he was going off base and buying them. Fucking Marines. It's probably, I don't know, it could have been the same place you were. Well, you were in, were you I was, in Okinawa? I was in Iwakuni. Was, was, was that Okinawa? Yeah, or was it was mainland. Oh, okay. I didn't even know we had marine bases in mainland. I thought, because uh, everybody I know always goes to Okinawa. Yeah, it's, it's a, uh, is Okinawa the biggest bait marine base there then? I don't know. It might be. Okay, because uh, it seems like everybody I've ever known has always well, said we went to Okinawa. Okinawa's like a, I don't know specifically, but I know like a lot of grunts and more, more military occupational specialties mm -hmm. go to Okinawa. It's like it got a diverse yeah. group. And I know a lot of uh, grunts and... You were aircraft. Yeah. Though, right? So. But Iwakuni is an air station. Okay. So, so that's primarily air So you're... Pretty yeah. much most places you went were just air stations. Yeah. So this is the straight from barrel. Does cool, cool little leather bag. Yeah. I mean, so... Do you get the leather bag with the straight from the barrel? Or... So, you know how this... Did you steal it, this from somebody? I stole that from Jeff. Okay. <laughs> His came with it. But you know, sometimes you buy these and they come in the box. Yeah. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they come with a bag. Sometimes they, you don't ever know what you're getting. Oh, maybe they just don't have so, good quality control. I don't know why some of them don't have boxes and some of them do, and then some have bags and some don't. But I, mine didn't come with a bag, but I uh, saw it saw it upstairs at Judd's. I was like, hey, I'm jacking this. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. He's like, he wasn't gonna do anything with it anyway. Right. So this one, this is gonna hit a little harder. Yeah, what, what was that on the bottom of that? 128? Yeah, 128.8. Nice. And I think the one that I was telling you about um, at Bourbon and Bowties, it was pushing like 131. Oof. But it was good. Like, it was so damn good. Don't. I wish they said like a barrel don't date. Probably six to eight years old, I imagine. Yeah, they just pull when they, I think, I mean, everything I've ever read, they pull when they feel like it hits a certain mark. Kind of like Maker's Mark does. They yeah. do the taste pretty much instead yeah. of age. They probably have a more uh, hands on process with these. I think these, these and the gold, than they yeah. do this one. I mean, this is, they're, I read an article and it's some stupid amount. Which they have a whole bottling line there that's yeah. nothing but blends. Yeah. It's just pumping them. Like I've seen it. And yeah. I watched 400 bottles go by me in five minutes. Oh, I believe so. It. There's there's a ton of that stuff of just the regular blends going out. Now these I know that's limited runs. 
select select barrels. Mm -hmm. It's premium barrels, stuff like that. So when was that one bottled? Uh, it says dumped on August 19, 2019. Okay, so that's so that's one. Actually, I didn't get that one hardly. Then that's one I got from Japan. Then. Mm. You so got another I, one? I have another one. Uh, it's <laughs> up in the closet. Hell yeah. You know, I'm going to put a llama on that door. <laughs> Is that weird? Hmm? Uh, no, it's different. It's a different height. I was, I was looking at it at this angle. It's like everything looked like it was the same height that these were up. This bottle was different, though. Okay. That's a different bottle. I think it is, isn't it? It's not look a little... It looks more narrow. Yeah, it looks skinny and tall. Yeah. Now these all look exactly the same. This, this bottle does look different. No, this is... Oh, this is a 700. That's why... I, this is probably a 700. Yep, that's a 700. This is a 750. That's a 750? Mm-hmm. Show sure is. So this one, this is an American model. It, well, but they still export. Though, yeah. because it's got all the Japanese writing all over the back. Normally, you're going to find a lot of. But I think I talked to you about that. So I mean, even though Sazerac and Buffalo Trace mm -hmm. make it, mm -hmm. they don't own Blanton's. Yeah. The Takara Corporation owns it. Okay, is that the same name as that one bottle that you tried the to red, get? The red bottle. Okay. Yeah. I wonder so, if it was finished in different barrels. That was I don't was. know anything about that one. Um, I know it's it's a little higher proof than the black one, but lower, still lower than this one. Yeah, is all I really know. They say it ages a little longer too, supposedly. I, once again, I haven't done a lot of research. I'm just going off what people tell me, and they could be feel, feeling me full of shit. Right. I don't know. I mean, I'd love to do a a barrel, not a barrel pick. But take one of these and do it. Put it in one of the little one liter barrels. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's tasty. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's got a little kick to it. Got a lot of spice. It's just spicy. Uh, why is it spicy? I like it though. It's oh, good. Yeah. It's straight and barrel by far is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Always it. I love I love gold. <clears throat> if it if I could afford to buy gold and make it a daily sipper, that's probably what I would do at 103 proof. Well, shit, you could probably make your own gold. Just You're going to have to buy like a case of these and get a bigger barrel. And just age them. And just age them. I mean, yeah. I guarantee it'll proof up. But yeah. Well, it's like that fellow we were talking to last night. He said, uh, you know what, those five-gallon barrels? Mm hmm Yeah. They made some homemade stuff. So we might, may or may not do a video with some homemade homemade distillers. Yeah, uh, they've got a full steel and yeah. everything. But he said in two years, they lost 50% due to evaporation so yeah i think here you need some sort of climate control yeah a little bit just a little and at least needs to be kept in a garage or something yeah i think 100 degrees would probably be fine but i mean if it's out in a tin building you know it's going to be hot as yeah. shit unless you've got really big barrels i mean the yeah. only thing but yeah, well, we can. Casey said we can make video and do it. I think it'd be fun. I think, like I said, I think it'd be cool to do it one time. Yeah. I don't want to start doing it all the time because then I'm gonna like I it becomes work. I don't want to do that. Too much shit going on. Yeah. Just I would I would definitely have to delete something from my life if I wanted to do that. Well, don't delete the lady friend. She no, 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 no. She yeah. gonna, she gonna stick around for a minute, for a little while, for a while. So she so. I need to ask this now. So she sent this thing to five guys. Okay. How many guys responded? I think two or three of us actually responded. Okay. Uh, Did she go on dates with other guys? No. Of the other, that's what she told me. I'm taking her word for it, guys. Just, you know, I take people's word for it until I'm given reason not to. Uh, she said the ones that did respond, like, ghosted her, basically, or Listen, got really When I meet her, I'll, I'll know. I'm the human lie detector, so. Well, I, I haven't got a bad My bullshit yet. meter is like, Right there, I know. I I don't I haven't got a bad feeling yet. I mean, she's made me dinner a couple times. I mean, I mean bought I, me dinner. Hey, I mean, she feeds you because she cooked it. 
It tasted good. I ate okay. the shit out of it. Well, hell yeah, then. I mean, she hasn't really like. Ain't nothing wrong with that. She made beef tips and rice last night. Oh, so. Shit, they know. If you yeah. make a home cooked meal, like, yeah. like, I'm. Yeah. It ain't gotta be fancy. And she's 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 like into arts and crafts, so it's not like she's just sitting around doing shit. Cause she's she's older than I am. She's older than you. Yeah, we uh, said she's fifty one. Okay, I wasn't gonna throw it out there. Uh, but. Okay. Yeah. It's all right. Hey, I mean it's okay. My wife's in the fit, in her fifties yeah. too, so I mean, I mean my wife's ten years older than me, so. So I mean, I ain't nothing wrong with getting a cougar. <laughs> she was a, a cougar and uh, what was it called? Uh, Fuck I me, mean, that's good. <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, no, no, I, I got a good feeling about it, man. And I mean, she really likes my wiener, so that's good. Yeah. She was, awesome. like, she was like, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, he, he feels the same. Did you make him dance around or anything? No, oh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, was, I was just joking around last night. I was fucking exhausted. So I stayed over there Friday night. Well, yeah, because I left you at shit, was close to nine, 10. Yeah. I mean, it was 9 30, 10 o'clock. Because yeah. I ran by and I was like, I told you, I was like, I'm going to come have one drink. Yeah. I had two. No, I had three. Oh, shit. For four. <laughs> three or four drinks later, I'm like, okay, I gotta go home. But, which I was fine. I mean, I just was tired because I didn't sleep now for So we had been in Dallas. I stayed in a hotel, mm -hmm. which I don't sleep in hotels. Did I even tell you about going to Dallas? You going to Frisco? We can talk about it in the next video. Okay. You know, we got three minutes left. Okay. Well, three and a half. Yeah. But, I mean, if you can make it in three and a half minutes, we can talk mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. But, so, yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk about it in the next video. Okay. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna fill some barrels with some random stuff. Well, not random, but some choice items. So some stuff we think yeah. is gonna turn out really well yeah. with some age. Yeah. Uh, but beyond that, oh man, we had a yeah. good time. Well, as far as Blanton's goes, man, it's it's good. There's nothing wrong with Blanton's. Is it overhyped? Hundred percent. I would not pay much over like if, if you've never experienced it before if you can buy a little over msrp fine if it's at a mama pop store and you see one of these for 90 bucks i'd go ahead and do it just because you're probably not going to find it anywhere else for cheaper if you can get it for under 100 probably buy it anything more than that go get you a four roses single barrel and you'll be just as happy hell honestly makers 46 cast strength yeah, I mean, just It'll blow just, it out of the water. I mean, it's good. Well, we both picked. We both picked. Now I don't remember what it actually went up against in the blind, mm -hmm. but Buffalo Trace was my third and your second. Yeah. So I started buying Buffalo Trace again. <laughs> I mean, I love. It. I, I always keep both. Yeah. I, I drink it. It's one of my daily well, drinkers. I've been I've been trying to find. Like, I like it. Like I because it's low proof and yeah. I don't get just hammered sitting here well that's kind of why i'm like because if i come in here by myself i'll drink high proof stuff and then i'm just oh yeah dicks I'm, in the dirt i'm well, just like i need I've, to I, sip i've stepped away from wild turkey 101 because i felt like i needed lower proof stuff and that's well what I, I made the mistake with that old the barrel aged old fashioned mm -hmm. those things will hammer you <laughs> Cause this well, spot because i went from 90 proof to 101 proof but they're still proof down if you add other well, liquid just, in there it's a little bit of some syrup and bitters. That's about it. Oh, it ain't proof okay. down much. I mean, it's it's three bottles of wild turkey. We'll just cut it with some distilled water. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's literally three bottles of wild turkey in that thing. Jesus. And rye. Yeah, rye. Five and a half ounces of simple syrup and an ounce and a half of bitters. Wow. So it ain't cutting much. You can probably and that thing like you can tell like you. I used to drink two or three of those with the Sazerac. I'm about a one and a half in. I'm like, well, I can feel this. I mean, it's it, well, it gets to you. We'll try that on another video. Anyway, I got 40 seconds. All right, we're good. Thanks for watching, guys. Like the video, subscribe, share with your friends. If you've had any of these before, comment below and let me let us know your thoughts. Uh, but uh, like always, or yeah, check the description below for all the ways to help out. And like always, drink some whiskey, share it with your friends and family, like Wes did today. Be safe, don't drink and drive, take care, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.